Hey everybody, it's uh, Corey with Spen Sleeve. Just wanted to give a highlight of our new prototype that we have um, that came in the mail today. Um, since we came out with the wheelhouse model uh, four seasons ago, one of the most common questions we get is how do we get a Garmin pole, Summit pole, a Mega Live pole, how do we get them to adapt to your cover? Um, our goal all along has been to try to find a way to not modify the whole cover itself um what we've kind of found it's it's just not possible um if you want to utilize a system that's going to provide the durability and stability of the pole uh, that we've tried to achieve with this so i'm going to highlight it um, talk, talk about applications that you can use it in um, i myself don't have a garment that'll be kind of a next next year purchase um but i have used it in a, as far as a concept for what i'm going to show you tonight and then I do have one fisherman, and that's going to actually test this prototype uh, for the next two weeks while we're out on vacation. And then we'll have pre-orders available on our website um, starting tonight uh, or tomorrow. So, um, so here it is. Um, so this is a summit pole uh, with the LVS34 transducer. As far as the pole, they're pretty much the same whether you're running a Mega Live. Um, a different transducer or whatnot, just the base, the mount down here will be a little bit different, um, but the pole size will be the same. <clears throat> so what I'm showing you here is, this is actually our portable cover for the direct on ice version. Um, it's got a bushing and then a base that's a threaded base with a threaded collar on it. And I've secured that bait or adapter to the pole. It's got two set screws. The set screw here is for securing to the bushing. bushing. You can have that as tight as you want. Um, I have it so it's free spinning right now. So that bushing free spins within the base. And then the top one here is for the bushing. That gets it so that your pole um, is secure in there allowing you to spin it. Okay. So what I'm showing you here is one of the applications that you can actually use for someone if you're going out um, hole hopping during the day coming back at night to fish in your wheelhouse. So this is actually our wheelhouse sleeve on the outside in the glow or the white that you see here. And then this is our direct on ice sleeve. Um, kind of by accident about th four years ago, we actually found out that our portable sleeve fits right inside where the cover goes in the wheelhouse sleeve. So what this is just showing you, you come inside from outside hole hopping all day. Um, you can just take your portable sleeve right here drop that inside the wheelhouse sleeve just got to push it down just slightly and now you can drop it in okay so now what that will show you is you can actually sit here now and spin it or pan it now most of the feedback that I get is when your wheelhouse you're either up in the front hole here or on um, the back we would probably use this setup underneath our bench, actually in the back of our house, and then forward face the Garmin pole this way, so that we're catching all of our holes this way. Now in the setup here, I obviously don't have the transducer on um, the pole here, but what I'll tell you is, as far as how the, the cord will come through, you're gonna secure the transducer cable below the cover to the pole, so you're gonna run you know your cable so we have our notches right here for the electronics okay so you're going to just run the transistor ca cable down here you know to your your uh, unit here you're going to tape it or velcro it to here and then that's going to give you two options so when this is in the cover you can either spin it on the base like here um, otherwise if you want to you can actually secure set this screw in, in tight so that the there and then you'll actually be able to spin this here. Um, this cover is just a little bit tight on this one. They do sp sp spin freer. Um, but that's just to show you, you can actually spin um, the cover or spin the base, however you want, okay? The other part I wanna show is if you wanted just to do a wheelhouse sleeve only setup. Um, so obviously this is our spin sleeve. And this is our cover here. Okay, so as I talk, there's really no way to get this to without modifying this hole in the center. Um, our goal the, all along has been to minor modification, 
maintain the strength and integrity that our cover has. You know, we all know it's the thickest that's out there. Supports a lot of weight. We've had it tested up to 700 pounds. Um, this cover here has been through the rigmarole. Um, it's lifted up two race trailers, or a race trailer and our ice castle off of the, our truck um, to test its um, fragility or tendency to break, and that's it's so poor to that. So now it's got a bigger hole in it. Um, so I'm gonna kind of show you. I put that bigger hole in it, and I can still step on it. No issues. I'm not worried about that cover breaking or flexing too much. Um, we've seen multiple modifications out there um, where people have um, either taken out a big chunk right here. Um, they've done different things, but the most common one is a modification within this area here. Um, either widening this out a little bit um, so your transistor cable fits in there. Um, cutting this section out so that you have um, the ability to slide the pole off, um, like if it's mounted onto the sleeve or on some type of a ram mount on the wall or whatnot. But um, our goal is just like on this here is to have it mounted the cover so that you can pull the cover out and the pole at the same time. There are some fishermen that do fish out of the same hole um, as their Garmin or Mega Live. Um, majority don't. Um, but this allows you to pull the cover off with the transducer if you're obviously fishing out of it at the same time. So I'm going to pause the video here for a second and then I'm going to show you that setup on uh, the wheelhouse sleeve here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to actually mount this um, just on the wheelhouse. It's the same idea. Um, on the portable cover um, that I have right here. Um, so people may ask, why two inches? Um, if you were, our, were to look at our um, covers, there's three little squares in there, and you can't see them on this one because I've already drilled it out. Those are injection points. So those are what's considered a weak spot in the cover. So we've seen people modify this hole already where that's been smaller or part of that injection point has been remaining. Uh, within the cover itself. So a two inch hole removes those injection points. Those injection points, as long as they're removed, should give you back the strength of the cover um, that I had before. With leaving those injection points in there, and if you get too close to them by only drilling out part of the center, um, when the cover flexes, um, that actually could potentially crack the cover. So by removing the injection points, um, that's the goal is to eliminate that weak spot. So as you saw earlier, I stepped on the cover, um, no concerns. So this is our adapter here. Um, like I said, it's a threaded bushing or a threaded collar. Um, we have a bushing that's inserted in here. Um, I have this set screw set loose so that I can spin the bushing with inside it. And then this set screw here is for tightening the pull up. Okay, and then this, this will obviously screw in the bottom. Um, so just take the big adapter here, slide that through the hole that's, a, that's drilled there. And then you're going to just take this and thread it on. So the nice thing with this adapter is that's on there. You can actually see here, um, you can actually spin the cover while it's attached to it. It's not going to wiggle. You know, so if you have... Um, if you use a ram mount or some other type of a mount, um, I've seen where poles still do bend or sway a little bit. This is going to keep your pole perpendicular and centered in the hole. Um, what people have been asking us for for the last three years. So, um, so that shows you how to how to attach it. Okay. So I'm going to show you the summit pole and how that works. So th this is the handle for the summit pole. This is obviously the summit pole itself. Um, so you do have to take the handle off. So uh, most people want to remove the tripod. Um, our goal all along has been to remove, remove the tripod so that you can kind of open your floor space back up. Yes, this is going to stick up from the floor. Um, there's no way to avoid that. Um, but what it's doing is it's, it's allowing you to cover up your hole just like before on all the other holes that you fish. It's allowing you to have full coverage of the hole Fish with the transducer uh, with your Garmin 
and no longer have that tripod. Some of those tripods aren't much bigger than the holes on the top of the sleeves. Um, so they get a little bit hairy. If they get mixed, they get tipped. Um, potentially could go down the hole if the tripod collapses or anything like that. And some of those tripods are huge. Um, I was at the St. Paul Ice Fishing Show and I saw a tripod that had to be at least that far wide. That takes up a lot of floor space. Um, so the adapter that we have right now, for right now it's fit for a summit pole. Um, should work for the Bass King pole. Um, should work for the ARC Lab pole. Um, should work for anything an inch and an eighth to an inch. Um, we're going to do some little bit of fine tuning in the prototype. This is our first one. Um, but we're going to be on vacation for the next two weeks. I'm sending everything back to the designer or the manufacturer. They're going to fine tune it with this pole here. Okay. So once I have the adapter on, all I got to do is slide this through. Put the handle back on. Okay, and then I want it so that the bowl is attached to my preferred height. Okay, so I'm using a pliers in this video just because this bolt hole is a little bit tight. Uh, we'll fix that with the, the final version that will be out here in January. So now I got my preferred height for where I want um, the handle. Put it back in there. Same idea here. You can see here I can spin the cover with it. Or I can spin it, spin just the bushing in itself. Again, as far as the transducer cable, it's going to be the same same idea. Um, you're going to you're going to run it connected underneath the cover, so you're going to run the transducer down through one of our notches. Again, our covers are the only ones that offer these notches like this, so it will be no problem to run your cable underneath the cover. Again. Uh, tape it or um, use a lot use velcro to secure the pole or the cable to the pole connect your transducer and whatnot um, we're going to sell us in different kits too so i know a lot of you have the functions to modify your own hole cover um, i'm going to strongly suggest recommend it needs to be two inches again we have to remove those injection points that are in the cover for those of you that want to modify your own covers because you already have it, um, all you'll have to do is buy the adapter, widen it out to two inches. The only caveat we're kind of saying is if once a cover has been modified from the original design, you know, with the one inch hole that's already there, um, we don't manufacture the covers as far as breakage or something like that, just because it's been modified from its original engineered design. Um, but um, that's kind of besides the point. Um, so you'll be able, we'll provide instructions. I'll do a you know a, a thing I hand out, I think I can email it to you or send it to you on Facebook on how to modify our cover to fit this. Um, same thing with the um, direct on ice one. We're, it, this one doesn't have to be two inches, but to to have one size adapter, we're going to just modify this one up to two inches as well. Another question that I've had talking to a couple people is, what if I want to offset it? Because I do fish out of the same hole. That's another option that you can look at. Um, what we're looking at there is, we'll say on the on the direct and ice one, um, you might either modify the outside here, um, or you can take one of these holes here, zip, zip that out to two inches, um, and then you can offset it so it's offset of the hole, so you're fishing in it, so it's not centered. Uh, for the wheelhouse version, obviously we got the four holes here. Um, we can offer an offset option there as well. Um, we're going to more so recommend, especially on the wheelhouse model, just a center mount. Um, just because 90% of people I've talked to, they're all dedicated holes um, as far as what to use. Our house, we have 11 holes. One of them is going to be a dedicated camera or garment hole. Um, some of you with smaller holes, if you have more people in your house, yeah, you might end up having a fish out of it. So you might want to look at that option where... Um, having that offset hole. So we'll provide a service where you can either ship the cover to us where I'll drill the cover out for you if you don't have the means to do it. Um, otherwise, we're going to sell kits. So the kits will be basically you have the option to buy the adapter with a cover. No sleeve. We're assuming that you already have our product. Um, that is going to be a very, very limited thing right now because we don't have a lot of excess covers 
Uh, we have to manufacture the same number of sleeves as covers. So what we're looking at doing is two packages where it's a complete package. Um, so one package will be you buy the direct on ice sleeve, direct on ice cover. I have it drilled out for you. Um, I'll probably do two options on the direct on ice one. I'll have two covers in there. There'll be a clear cover and a smoke cover. Um, one cover will be drilled as an offset so that it's more so off to the side. And then the other one will have a center one so that if you're not fishing in it, you can use a center one cover. If you're fishing in it, you can use the offset hole that's in there. Okay. So it'll be this set up here, a clear and a smoke cover with this adapter. So pricing on that will be on our website. The other, and then and the nice thing, like I said in the video at the beginning, this setup right here goes right in here. So if you're fishing, um, fishing up outside during the day, and you don't want to bring this whole setup in here without removing the cover, just drop your portable sleeve right in your spend sleeve. It'll fit in there. You're going to use the same setup inside and out. So, and then the next day you go back out and portable. Um, or if you're doing hole hopping, same thing. Just take the cover out with it and you don't have to worry about changing it out. For those that are likely just looking for a wheelhouse option, um, like I said, we'll have a, an option for a cover, just the cover, but that's gonna be extremely limited. Um, just because we don't have a lot of availability on the covers, we're, we'll kind of get that part figured out here in the next uh, few days, week, hopefully uh, before we launch everything. And then, your other option would be to just buy another sleeve with the cover and then with the adapter. For next season, we'll look at offering poles along as well, um, but we're just finding a lot of people already have poles. The other things that we're working on right now is we're working on an adapter for the OEM pole. It'll serve the same same concept. Um, Garmin's a little bit different. Um, theirs is all screw, um, so we're going to want to still where it slides through. Um, comes up with the cover, uh, Mega Live. Um, I've only seen one of the one of those. I'm gonna get that when I borrow one when I get back from New Year's, um, from Florida, and then I'm gonna work on the adapter for that one. So the adapter that we'll have available right away, right now, will be for the Summit poles, Bass King, ARC Lap, anything that's an eighth of an inch to an inch. Um, if you have a pole that's a little bit wider, contact us and I'll kind of confirm. Um, if it don't work, because the hole is a little bit bigger than an inch and an eighth. Um, and then over, while we're on vacation, our, our manufacturer is working on the base setup for the OEM pole for Garmin. For those that use that still, that have not switched out to Summit or another pole. And then coming into, hopefully by mid-January, we should have a Mega Lab option available. But uh, majority of the users are using Garmin. So... Um, any questions, send us a message on Facebook. Um, even though we'll be on vacation for the next two weeks, uh, we'll be checking and responding to messages. Um, we'll get a, this launched on our website here tonight with uh, uh, pre-sale orders. Those pre-sale orders we're hoping would ship out the second week of January, which hopefully by that time uh, we can finally have our wheelhouses out in the ice. So any questions, feel free to reach out. Our website's www.spensleeve.com net or check out our Spence Sleeve Facebook page. Have a great night. Happy New Year's. Thank you.